everybody, welcome back to the Chapter 5 walkthrough for House of Da Vinci 2. Uh, first thing you can do is go up here, take a look at this. Alright, you can turn the angels until the opening meet, meets the uh, metal pieces. And this pops out, which is great. Alright, embossed disc. Click lower on here, pull this red gem down, and you get a skull screw. Alright. That medallion goes on the left side of this triptych, right here on the shield. And we get another shield, which is great. Part of a shield. Alright, it's got to combine with something. So let's go to this treasure chest and plug the skull in. All right, and we gotta free these. Uh, this is more uh, uh -oh. just a scientific retesting. I'm not sure of an exact solution. There you go. Once it slides out. That's when you know you're in the clear. Alright, that's gotta go up. That's gotta go down. Uh, dang it. There you go. Alright, push this towards you. Take the gem. Alright. Meanwhile, check out this phrase, Cedo Nulli. Also, there's going to be something on each of these sarcophaguses hidden somewhere on them. Double click it to record it in your journal. One down. Here's another. I don't know if they're sarcophaguses, I just say that because who knows. Okay, we got these three in the corner. This one we need. Oh, here you go. Alright, uh, okay. We can take this gem to the left side here. One of these is missing a gem. Let's find it. There we go. Front and center. Okay, this needs a combination to enter. Um, I just kind of did this for a while until it worked. But I believe it stays the same throughout the whole uh, game. So you can copy that combination once to the right, twice to the left, etc. Alright, small shield with arms. Let's try to combine these shields. Alright, pop the arms into the holes. And we get the completed shield. Alright, we need to find a few more letters. This one's right on top. Let's check this one out. Down here we see the L and the shape it correlates to. Okay, as you can see they're here. We're missing two. which are both behind the altar, luckily. There's a U. And here is the final E. And the only E, when you think about it. Alright, now that you clicked on all those, you can open up the middle part of this, drop in the shield, Okay, and you have to spell out that sign from before, the Cheeto Nulli. It's this basically with two L's. So we're going to do the noses facing each other, the candlestick, the L, and that weird shape for the O. Let's see if I can remember it. Alright, noses facing each other. Candlestick was next. 
some of them have similar looking ones, but that's right. Alright, there's the L. There's that. Alright. For Nuli, it's a one of those, a fish, square, two squares, because we need two in a row, and then a double square for the I. So that's that. Fish. And the I is the original symbol. There you go. Alright, you get the shape, strangely shaped key and the wooden ornament. They go towards the one place in the room we haven't been, which is this corner. Oh, excuse me, Leonardo. This corner. Alright, now these are parts of a shape that need to be uncovered. You swing this to the left or right to uncover the shape we need. And the one on here is a full square because basically every line is covered in one of these three. They get combined. And this one, honestly, I, it's so tough to figure out. I just, I scroll one at a time and I reset it until it sticks. Can I be honest? And I wouldn't blame you for doing the same. There we go. We got it. Alright, we put our strangely shaped key on these, and we swing this open. Alright, first of three areas down for Chapter 5, as soon as we get through this door. Open. Thank you. Alright, in this room is an elevator mechanism that we have to repair, fix, and provide a counterweight for. Take this wheel off the wall. We can take a look here, but we can't really do anything yet. Nope. Okay. Head for the window. Swing it all the way open. And remove the handle. Window crank is now ours. Alright, we can go down to another room. There's a few things to do here. Pick up this handle. Lever. Handle. Okay. And look to your right. You can see this is a little crooked. Uh oh. Alright, and we get one of these. Heavy brass component. And can we do anything down here? Not yet. All right, let's go back upstairs. And let's combine some of these things. All right, this gets combined with that. Slide this on the top and bottom. And we get the completed winch wheel. Now we pop that on here, but first, obviously, we have to make this shape. So let's look for that. Does that look right? Mm, I think so. Well, there you go. Alright, now that releases that. Now things can spin. An elevator comes... No. This hook comes up and an elevator comes down. Because it's lacking a... Uh, the counterweight. Alright, so we can spin this. Oh, the elevator's locked. We can, uh, okay, we gotta take this, grab that from the side of the wall, uh, lock the elevator like that if you wish, but any, t any spin you do will unlock it. So let's leave it locked for now. Alright, we have to let's see, zoom in here. We don't want it to go down. I might have hit the wrong button there. All right. Lock the elevator again. Spin it to win it. Okay. All right. 
and this keeps it in locked place. So the hook stays down, which was our goal there. I believe oh, we have to do something with this. Lower that. Open this. Spin it around. There we go. Completed that. Alright, there's something we can do here. A spot for a lever is right here. Let's pop in this. And we get a new item. A rod with a ring. Alright, we're going to go back downstairs. Alright. And we're going to put the rod up here. Okay. And that opens the gate there for us, which is nice. And then you want to put this completed item here and spin it to bring the counterweight over. Now we just need to fix something on top so a hook will come out. So the puzzle here is to put all these ridges up uh, at once. So with these two holes we can slide this up and slide it over. Fix this for these two. Alright, next one's all four which is not that. Oh, one more. There we go. Alright, and then slide it to the last set of openings. Bring it all the way up. Alright, and here's a puzzle that took me a little bit to figure out, but here's basically what you gotta do to get all the pieces on the same line. Move those four pieces in that order. Now we can hook this together. That's the counterweight. Go back upstairs. Uh, bring the elevator down. There we go. I had to lock it with this bar first, so it's stuck on down. Let it go up or down, hop on the elevator, and pull the lever. And that brings you up to the final room of Chapter 5. It's got books and flowers and plenty of other things. Alright, now what first uh, you can do is look at the beginning, the front of this desk, turn on your Oculus Perpetua, and we gotta fix these tumblers. Uh, so this bumpy parts at the bottom and you use it in one two three four so the first one you do affects the first one the second one you do affects the second one the third one affects this one the fourth to there if you already have it bumped just move it one and know where you gotta go all right so we got it down down all right this one's already on it but obviously we can't do that and a down so we're off by one. How do we get it out of there? Let's see. Let's go up. This is number one. Okay. Up. All right. Put it back. Put it back. Let's bring this guy all the way down. See what that does. All right. Up. Up. Down. Up. All these downs completed with all these ups except the second one, which we're going down with. Okay. One more down. Yeah, he'll be in the right spot next time. Now there's four downs, and we got it unlocked. So you have to loop number two or whichever one you choose all the way around. Alright, we get our first essence of flower. Turn that off. Um, let me direct your attention to this hat, which you pull off and uncorkscrew this thing. Alright, carved wooden stud. 
Alright, the next puzzle requires this painting to be down because it, excuse me, it mimics the room that you're in. You have to slide this red jewel apart to the end. So the painting's down so we can cross over. But now the painting has to go back up so we can cross it over again. Also check out these three words for a puzzle later. We'll be back on that. Okay, the puzzle's up so we can go across. Now the two things on the front of the desk spin. So this right side of the picture is actually the left part of the desk. So let's spin it. Oops. You gotta right click twice to get back. Alright, that's not the correct path as you can see. Let's spin it. Which way was it originally? Don't remember. Alright. Still not the right way. Let's go down. If that's not right. Nope. Alright, let's make it do a 180. So it's pointing top left. Back out. There we go. We got our first answer here. Nope. Crazy gem. Excuse me. Alright. Now we have to turn this one to some degree. I'm not sure. Alright. Starts out top left. Let's go bottom right. No. Let's try top right. Okay, there we go. Now we gotta make this straight. So let's try top left. Nope. Okay, it looks like it's the exact opposite. So let's do a 180 here. That should be right to lead us across. Yes. Alright, and there's another piece on the original part. So the left hand side has to come counterclockwise, pointing bottom left, I believe. That is not correct. Alright, bottom right. There you go, top right, it's gotta be it. Alright, you can complete excuse me. Complete the puzzle. And the signs near the flowers change to be the correct ones. And this opens up to complete the flower grenade on the desk. So we have tulip, which is a circle with a cross in it. So let's go here. Complete the grenade. Alright. Circle with the cross is here. So Tulip goes here. That unlocks a new key for us. Strange key. Alright. I believe we can next head over here. And you can see this doesn't match, so fix it. Open it up. Slide some of these apart. Put that in there. Spin it. Keep spinning it until this opens all the way. Take the book with the bookmark. Should be important for later. And this key we got out of the flower grenade goes in here. It opens up a space puzzle. So this represents the sun, and we need all four planets to be sunny on the side where the sun is. So let's start here. This locks them in place. So this won't move at all if this is put forward. But only one, I think, can be forward at a time. So wait till you're at the last spot of the color we're locking. And then lock the next color you want. Or a different color. Because this needs to... Oh my gosh. Alright, you're about to hit red, so lock it. 
uh, you can keep it locked. Oh, excuse me. Alright, and right before you go off yellow, you want to lock it. Alright, red, we're about to get on, so we gotta do that. Alright, go on yellow until it's ready. And the, uh, the other two got done by accident, I'll be honest. First time I went through that, I did have to do all four separately. But that's your basic thing. Lock before you get to the the one you already have. Yep. Okay, what did we get? This flowery looking flower. And what symbol is the anise? It's the Z. Or the lightning N. Here it is. And that unlocks something for us. Right, we got the flower ornament, and that combines with something. Maybe this shoe. Let's check it out. All right, there's a secret compartment with something in it. Metal flower leaf. Let's combine these. Open it up, and you get a mechanism of a flower. It fits nicely right here. Alright, open this. And you get a nice spot to put your book that we already found. Alright, it's a bit of a game board. The red and green switch which way the path can go. These are holes. Your ball starts at the top because the dragon spits it out, and you want to get it to the bottom. It starts easy and gets tougher. So I'll just kind of go along uh, for a while. Let's do that. There you go. The black holes never change while you're doing red and green. They change between 1, 2, and 3 here. I see 2 has more holes, so we got to go this way to get in there. Let's see what we can do. Okay. And number three has a very definite path of just that. So we have to start on the red, you know, and that's how we do it. All right, we completed that. We get the essence of sage and a drawer handle. All right, so we can do a few things here. Um, this can open up. Oops. And we get rows. And this can slide down and lock. We can move this whole piece and we get a star ornament. And, oh, let's look at the picture again real quick. So the words here are custodius, hic, hostium. And you guessed it, this drawer handle goes here. And we gotta make custodius. Hick. Ostium. And we get mint. Alright. Let's plug these in real quick. So this top one has the M. The next one's the triangle with an L. And this one is A. Alright, that one was A, this one was M, triangle with an L is here. Now we're missing one, but we have the star piece, which goes on the bookshelf at the start of the room. Alright, Essence of Spice. That's a spicy one. Put that in the final chamber, swing it around, pull this down. And this turns into a key. So we haven't touched this lantern yet. Let's plug the key in here. Oh, one more zoom. There you go. Twist that. Oops. Twist the. Twist the key. There we go. All right. This opens up. Open that. Move this small thing to the left. Combine these two. Something else falls. This spins. 
opening that. Grab down, look at what fell. Pick it up. Little nut for your troubles. Alright, zoom in on over here. You can tell the nut goes here. Spin it around. This device extinguishes the couple candles. And one of the final uh, parts is left. Now you can rotate this. Do that. Throw this up. And again, there's a small pattern you have to do. I believe it was left. Nope. Okay, right, left, right, left, left. And that raises this bar. You pull the handle and obviously a set of staircases appears. Um, that's pretty much it. I want to thank everybody for watching the walkthrough. If you need more help, check out my other videos. Uh, please leave this video a like if it helped you, if you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching again, and have a great day.